If you live in New Mexico, there may be magma actively pulling underneath your feet and you might not even know it. As, while well, unknown to many, beneath the town of Socorro in New Mexico is one of the world's largest magma chambers and this chamber is actively expanding. Known as a Socorro magma body, it contains 84 cubic miles or 350 cubic kilometers of molten rock. Every year, a large mass of ground surrounding this town is slowly uplifted by a tenth of an inch as magma continues to intrude into the crust. This molten rock is quite active, producing 23% of the state's earthquakes which are large enough to be potentially felt, including the largest earthquake to ever strike the state, a magnitude 6.2 quake in 1906. So, what exactly will occur due to the presence of this massive magma chamber? Will a new volcano form relatively soon? This video will answer these two questions and discuss this unusual feature. If you live in the towns of Socorro, San Acacia, La Jolla, or anywhere in the region I have shaded in yellow, there is indeed a massive body of magma deep underneath your feet. However, I would not be too concerned about it for the time being as the Socorro magma body is quite deep in the crust, being located at 12 miles or 19 kilometers depth, far too deep to create the potential for any imminent volcanic eruptions. This magma body covers a vast area but is comparatively thin, forming an unusually large example of what is known as a sill. Walls spread out over an area of 1,300 square miles or 3,367 square kilometers, which, by the way, is larger than the state of Rhode Island, the magma body only averages 104 meters or 341.2 feet thick. Although the true age of this structure is unknown, it appears to have formed in two phases. This fast body of magma is consistently replenished, as if it was not, it would have then solidified within a period of 800 years. Evidence suggests that the magma body first began growing approximately 122,000 years ago. Then, beginning 60,000 years ago, the modern uplift and increased rate of magma influx began, increasing the flow of molten rock to modern levels. At the present, every year, approximately 7 million cubic meters of magma adds to this growing figure, hence the continuous uplift it has produced throughout the last century. This uplift has placed strain on adjacent fault lines which sometimes slip, hence the earthquakes which are observed. The reason why this magma chamber formed relates to a failed rift zone which originated 36 million years ago. Known as the Rio Grande Rift, it stretches across the entirety of New Mexico and parts of Colorado and is responsible for the vast majority of recent volcanism in both states. This rift is still slowly spreading apart at a rate of 1.5 millimeters or 0.06 inches a year, resulting in the formation of valleys and a thin crust that largely follows the course of the Rio Grande River. This rift has created weak zones in the crust, allowing for magma to easily intrude into it, forming features like the Valles Caldera and the Socorro magma body. Due to the sheer amount of magma present in this system, you might think that it is simply the beginnings of another supervolcano, much like the Valles Caldera. However, this is not the case. The vast amount of at-depth material currently does not have the correct composition to support a highly explosive eruption, let alone a supervolcanic eruption. It is inferred to be a giant sill of basaltic or gabbro composition magma with a composition relatively similar to products erupted at Kilauea in Hawaii. With this being said, it is almost a certainty that the Socorro magma body will eventually be the site of a new volcano. Some models have theorized that smaller batches of magma have at least since the larger chamber began growing advanced upwards to as little as 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles depth before stalling and solidifying there. However, the exact time constraints on when these shallower dikes formed if they do exist is unclear. Looking at other sections of the Rio Grande Rift, we can see extinct shield volcanoes and cinder cones. Clusters of these are quite likely to one day form above the Socorro magma body, although it will likely be tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of years before a volcanic eruption eventually occurs here. For now, the existence of the Socorro magma body is simply a reminder of how geologically active the state of New Mexico still is.